Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're gonna look at the distributive property. Now, we looked at it before when we introduced it, but now we're gonna use it in some problems that are a bit more involved. And of course, we gotta get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing over there? Quit fooling around. We're doing the distributive property. What? Huh. Yeah, that's what? right. Now, remember, you don't have to learn this now. You what? can always come back and do it next semester. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, here we go, right there, Charlie. Now, we have negative three times the quantity x plus four. Order of operation says we're supposed to do the parentheses first, but you cannot add x plus four unless you'd like to repeat the class with him. What? So, what we have to do is we have to use the distributive property, Charlie. We're gonna distribute that negative three by multiplication into the parentheses. And so we have negative three times x, which is negative three x, and plus a negative three times four, which is a negative 12. And remember, adding a negative number is the same as subtracting, so our answer is negative three x subtract 12. And I know there's some of you that can skip that middle step, but as long as you can explain why, you're fine, and I'm just showing you why. Okay, let's do another problem. So here's one of those problems where people like to use a shortcut, but before we talk about the shortcut, let me go through the steps. Okay, again, we're supposed to do parentheses first, but we can't do it, so we're gonna distribute that three through. Now, a lot of people like to view that subtract three as a negative three. You can, because remember, adding a negative three is the same as subtracting three. And so if we bring down the two, we can distribute that negative three through and say negative three times x is negative three x and negative three times four is a negative 12, right? And remember, adding a negative number is the same as subtracting or you can visualize it as distributing a one through the parentheses and you get two, subtract three x, subtract 12. Now, I know some of those, some of you say those two middle steps maybe throw you off a little bit because you're used to just using the shortcut. So if we take that out, that's fine. Some of you can go straight from that step to there and that's really where we're working to. You can do that as long as you can explain it to somebody as to why you can do that. So once we get through that, then we look at our like terms, two subtract 12, right? And which is negative 10 subtract three X or we generally put the variable first and we have negative three x subtract 10. Any answer, either of those two answers is correct. Now, let's do it the fast way or the kung fu way. Some of you say, oh, two subtract three times x plus four. Well, it's two, and then immediately you go negative three times x is a negative three x, yes, because you're subtracting three x, and negative three times the positive four is negative 12, and there it is. You end up with the exact same answer as we had before. So. As long as you can explain it, you can do it. Remember, you have to know what you're doing before you can start kung fuing. Anyway, here we go, Charlie. Three plus four times three X plus one, Charlie. Okay, now we're gonna distribute that plus four through the parentheses. Four times three X is twelve X. And four times one, four. There we go. Now combine our like terms, but generally we'll bring our variable first. And what's three plus four? Seven. seven, there you go, 12x plus seven. Here we go, now, we have two times the quantity x subtract one plus three times x plus one. Remember, we can't do the parentheses first, but we have to do the multiplications before we do addition, and so our multiplication requires the distributive property. So we go two times x, and then we'll do two times a negative one. And then we'll do a positive three times x, and a positive three times one. And so here we go, two x subtract two plus three x plus three. You getting this, Charlie? Yeah, you better get it or you're gonna get it. Anyway, what? here we go, Charlie. Let's combine our like terms. We have the two x and the three x and the negative two and the plus three. And so what's two x plus three x, Charlie? Five x. Negative two plus three? One. Very nice. And go ahead and box your answer. There you go. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now don't get scared. We're gonna do the same procedure that we've been using. We're gonna take the two 
times the 2x and the 2 times the negative 1 and the negative 4 times the 3x and the negative 4 times the negative 1. Okay, now, Charlie, 2 times 2x is 4x. Four four X. X. Now, 2 times the negative 1 is negative, negative 2. two. Negative 4 times 3x? 12x. Negative 12x. Neg and negative 4 times negative 1 is plus, plus four. 4. It works. Remember, those negative numbers, we're visualizing them as being adding negative numbers. So you kind of got to think about that. That's why this works. And now, remember, order of operations has to go left to right, but we can get around that by visualizing everything as being added. And so our like terms are a 4x and a negative 12x and a negative 2 and a positive 4. And now, Charlie, what's 4x plus a negative 12x? Negative 8x. And a negative 2 plus 4 plus 2. Very nice there, Charlie. Our answer is negative 8x plus 2. And that is our lecture on the distributive property. So keep, work, keep working and keep doing your homework. And we'll see you again soon.